What we will talk about is the uh, DOSI, Developing Open Source System Expertise in Europe. <coughs> and this is actually a EU project under the Erasmus Intensive Program. I don't know if you are aware of this program, but this is very what we call the European Commission's Lifelong Learning Program, defining a lot of interesting products. Um, what the, the product essentially is about is to you try to, uh, we bring together students from uh, different European universities together on common products uh, defined by each uh, involved partner. And this year we have seven partners participating in the events. We're each having uh, 10 students from each partner and about two or three teachers from each, each partner institution. And the actually event took place at University uh, de Alcalá in Spain in March this year in what we call an intensive period, which is a 14 days period uh, of uh, use for developing uh, an open source product. <coughs> Essentially, this we think is an excellent opportunity to test uh, the CDR principles uh, in an international environment, an international scene. So the activities that uh, was carried out can be uh, divided into two different areas. What happened prior to the intensive period, and that is that each partner institution, institution are supposed, uh, is supposed to conceive a product. Uh, with their local students that they've selected for the event and they are supposed to write down a product plan and then to develop a technical, detailed technical plan which will be used as a source for developing the product in the uh, intensive period. And then the intensive period itself is concerned with the implementation of the product based on the developed technical plans in international teams and also there will be a final demonstration of the products and peer review, uh, which Finn will talk about a little bit later. Here you see a picture of the process, the overall process. So the idea is that we have activities going on at what we call home universities. Sorry. And uh, this is selection of students, identifying products, and uh, preparing a product plan and uh, doing the technical plan in national teams. So we had a number of students, about 10 students here at DTU, which actually was uh, developing the technical plan for the Danish team. And then when we arrive at the uh, intensive period in Spain, uh, all partner students uh, uh, were allocated to other teams so that we essentially, you can say, mix all the students between each other in international teams. Except from two students who will stay back and uh, actually will be the uh, product leader of uh, the particular products. And then we have the implementation during the intensive 14 days period uh, here. <coughs> now Finn, yes. we'll tell you a little about home university activities. the mic. Yes, mm. maybe it should be closer. Okay. Yes, um, so our challenge was to, to uh, fill uh, those 10 chairs uh, with students and we was a bit anxious about uh, if that was possible because we have heard from a year before where we were not a partner but uh, the South Bank University of London uh, partner but they couldn't find uh, even only one student who would like to go to to snowy Finland because that was going on in Finland the year before but we have the um, the, the advance uh, or the um, advantage that we could uh, invite those students to the sunny Spain and that was uh, actually uh, so um, so um, nice to, to have this uh, way of announcing it. Uh, so 
we actually got uh, uh, 50 students who would like to go and, and it's very difficult to have 50 students on, on only 10 seats. Um, so what we did was uh, that we uh, made an info meeting uh, at our um, home department and at this uh, info meeting only uh, around uh, 40 students were able to come. And when we told them at this info meeting that uh, they were going to miss the lectures at the home university for the 14 days and that were only uh, up to themselves uh, to follow those at a distance and, and read in the books uh, when in advance or when they came back. So um, only 24 was filling in a questionnaire. Uh, and this questionnaire was uh, to select the, the fittest students, uh, fittest with the best uh, abilities and, and we had a demand that they should have been at least studying for, for one and a half year before they could, uh, could go on this trip. So we were uh, ready or they were ready to, to do it. And also we used those questionnaire to, to uh, mix uh, students uh, on behalf of uh, what age they had. Uh, some of the, the youngest students were around uh, 21 years and the, the oldest student was 32 years. Some of the students were bachelor students, some of them were master students, others were studying the IT um, education and others were studying the combination uh, of IT and economic. We also would like to have uh, a mix of, uh, of different sex, uh, female and male, but unfortunately we only uh, could send uh, male students. We have too few female students on, on the IT education. Then of course this is also the, the curling um, generation. Uh, so uh, we had to take care that, that everyone was aware that they were um, responsible for, for, for taking care of uh, a, a valid passport and a, a health insurance and, and then we also booked some flight tickets for them. And then on the, uh, on the next event, uh, they were working on this technical plan from December uh, to medio February with, with uh, no interference from our teachers because we just said, uh, this is what you're going to prepare. We have not done it before, only a small prototype, but this was a, a, a huge, um, a more huge um, uh, application. Uh, then during this period, uh, we realized who was uh, the, the best to organize and, and to, to make meetings with the others. So we selected two Danish uh, project leaders and then also we said uh, those who are not project leaders, the rest of the students, the eight, had to make two wishes to the other partners' projects. Uh, we had set up a homepage with information both on what is going on in Spain uh, during uh, the stay and also on this homepage we had um, um, set up uh, the partner projects uh, proposals so they could see what they could wish on. Uh, then uh, at the end of this technical plan period we realized that uh, France had a dropout of three student, students so we were allowed to, to find three extra students from this large cohort we had. So uh, actually we went with 13 students from, from DTU to Spain. And also the students uh, tried to order what kind of facilities they need in Spain uh, according to computers and uh, smartphones. And uh, I think it ended up with that they were told to bring their own laptops and uh, a smartphone. So, so that was uh, what went on. In the intensive period, they of course worked with uh, this application. Uh, the ho host university, uh, Alcala, Universidad de Alcala de España, uh, took care of accommodation, food and uh, social activities like sports events and sightseeing. 
Um, they were only allowed to work on, on the project design and, and uh, the application uh, from uh, 8 uh, uh, to 5 in the afternoon each, each day and not in the weekend. So in the weekend they could uh, follow the social activities and uh, that was uh, what uh, they did. Um, yes, next. Thank you very much. We made the communication here. Um, when it was running the first year in Metropolia in Finland, uh, they were only focused on the IT things because this is the second year this project is running and uh, one of the advices from the board there was that they should somehow also work on the communication part and trying to get them to work <coughs> more together and team building things like that so I was invited by Marco Kaku from Metropolia to go in together with my sister to give an ice-breaking uh, workshop and also do a communication workshop that was only four hours, but we, we had to remember that they are very much focused on this IT, IT, IT. Um, one of the things is that there may be not so much awareness about it's not, it, it's not just the project, it's also the process which is important. So we divide up the f on the Monday, we had a communication uh, workshop where we had an intercultural icebreaker. So we, for two hours, got all these 70 students together, and they only knew each other from their home universities, where they um, were 10 together. But then they were like this for the first day. So we wanted to mingle them together so they somehow learned each other to know, know each other. And then um, at the second and third day, we had a two hours communication workshop where we were doing different kind of uh, communication uh, exercises. So we were like giving a lecture for seven minutes, not more, and then they were doing exercises. And by this way, learning a little bit about communication. Of course, they cannot learn everything, but it was just in order to give them a little taste about it was. And um, since we didn't have any the first year, uh, we can see here that this is 2010 where we had no uh, communication workshops, and 2011, and this was not really a, an investigation about a special list, but that's the only what we have. But you can see that the life experience they had was about 16% better in 2011. And uh, the knowledge of different cultures was increasing by 10%. And making new friends was going up about approximately 7%. So altogether, uh, they had made quite good prog progress. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Yes, and then uh, evaluation and grading. Uh, uh, during this, uh, they were told that they could gain uh, five ECTS points by following this uh, uh, course. And, uh, and the assessment of each student was actually calculated from three different evaluations. Technical plan was uh, evaluated by Mass and I as teachers, but the rest was evaluated uh, by the students. Peer evaluation was uh, by other students in the same team. So here, uh, students from other universities were actually evaluating our students from DTU. The team presentation was the different teams evaluated by the 60 other students from the other teams. And all those three different evaluation was uh, calculated in the marking process by uh, Marco Carro from Metropolia in Finland who was uh, the coordinator on the project. So that's a, uh, uh, and, and it ended up with a um, um, diploma with a grade on from Spain, and, and it was the ECTS grade that was uh, used there. Okay, I don't think we have any time for the conclusion, but I think just you can read the slide. It was certainly a great experience from all uh, participating. Uh, members here both for the teachers and for the students and um, 
I think this is an excellent opportunity to bring the CDO principles forward to an international scene. Uh, normally we're only doing things locally at each partner institution, but this is uh, a good opportunity to test uh, CDO concept in a broader sense. Thank you.